Hello everyone, this video will talk about what's a PoE injector. Well, we all know the PoE technology has brought great benefits to our lives. The PoE technology can transmit both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. What happens if we have a device that doesn't supply PoE features? Well, then we can use a PoE injector and then it can still inject the electricity, the power, through the Ethernet cable. Well, you must wonder how much power will inject. Well, there are three common standards, the IEEE 80.23 AF, the IEEE 802.3 AT, and the IEEE 802.3 BT. The 802.3 AF standard is commonly 15.4 watts, about that. And the AT standard is around let's say 25 25 watts and the third generation ie 802.3 bt standard this one can go up to 100 watts it's like 400 percent why is that because the third generation uses this method of using all four twisted pairs to transmit the power and data so it's like all full capacity these right here are fast cabling PoE injectors. This small one here is a 30 watt PoE injector. It can both supply the IE802.3 AT and AF models. Depends on the initial handshake, then I'll know how much to release. This big one here is our 95 watt high power PoE injector. This one injects the power to can multiple devices so it can support large systems or uh, power hungry devices. This one right here has like a more unique outside out casing. The coat is metal and this is our outdoor outdoor one. This one is waterproof. You can see the, the knobs over here. These are for sealing it tight to prevent the water from going in. And also the, the power input right here is limited to 20, uh, 24 to 56 watts so it's still safe because outdoors and it's raining if it's a what voltage is too high there might be accidents and you have to have a you have to install a unique waterproof plug when you get it now these three models they have different features but they all have this the same design an input for power that, which goes with your alternating current output. And two right here, two ports right here, one for PoE, one for your local access network. This one connects to our main network and the other sends out the power over Ethernet. Okay. I talked about the initial handshake for IE802.3 protocols. That is like uh, passive and active PoE devices. The initial handshake is like the power supply equipment, which releases the power, saying like hi to the power receiving devices. They re kind of recognize each other and have to come up to agreement that yes, we're both using the same amount of power. Then the power can go through and power the edge device. Now let's connect a 95, watt, 95 watts high power PoE injector with a PoE powered switch to this camera and we'll see the image on the screen. First of all, we have to connect the PoE injector to our alternating current, which is already done. And this one will connect to our main network. So insert right here. And to those who might have a little knowledge of PoE, I'll insert this Ethernet cable to the PO, this output. This one will release the power and data. And right here, I will plug this part in any of one of those ports.
Now I will need to connect the camera to the PoE powered switch. And just a reminder, the powered switch you have to remember supplying cable goes to port number eight. This one is the only one that will receive the power and power up the whole PoE switch. Now let's wait for a second for the image to focus. And we can see the ticking clock on our wall over there. Through This is the camera that's taking the image of it. And it's focusing at the moment. Give it a few seconds. You can see clearly the clock on the wall is ticking. So the system is all operable, means everything's good as good, good as good. Okay, that's pretty much for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, please post them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.